Hey everyone, I'm back, and we're ready to get off of these mountains. Hopefully. <laughs> as long as there's nothing too hard coming up. Yeah, uh, I guess we'll talk to Saberlin down here. See what he's got to say. Uh, you might not remember, because it was quite a long time ago, but Saberlin was the guy that, uh, went after Ascalon was attacked and we appeared in Old Ascalon uh, two years later, this was the guy who... Uh, spoke to us and told us about the Crichton ambassador who'd come so and we haven't seen him since then so that's pretty cool right um, let's see hungry devourer we are short on every major supply and to make matters worse that damnable pet of old Mac I old Mac cool is eating what remains of our meat see if you can talk to the man and find some way of feet to feed his pet without sacrificing our remaining food stores I've tried myself and his pet almost ate me. Mac is on guard duty outside Beacon's Perch in Deldamore Bowl. Can you help me out? Yeah, I'll speak with Mac. Haven't seen him for a while either. Not since Pekin Square. I didn't realise he'd come with us. So, we've got to head out this way to the Deldamore Bowl. Now, in this, just before we leave, in this outpost, you can leave through the north, which sort of takes you on with the plot, or there's this optional place here called Lornar's Pass and that is like a really really difficult place in the game and if you go down there you, it will actually take you further south through the mountains down here and um, if you can make it down there you can get near the end of the game and get like max level armor and stuff but there's no way I'll be able to make it so but again this is another place where lots of runners come because that's um, quite a good place to get low level characters near the end of the game so people hire others to run them Alright, Deldramore Bowl. Let's see where old Mac is. Oh, he's just there. Long time no see. Hey, and his pet Joe's still here. Guess that's what we're feeding. We've come so far and under such adversity, there's no way I'm turning back. I'll see Kreiter or I'll die trying. I know that Joe here can be a bit of a glutton, but it isn't his fault. He's a growing young devourer and he's got to keep his strength up if, if he's to help me defend things around here. His favourite food is those succulent junipers that grow north of here, but I can't take him to go get them since I'm on duty. Would you help out and go take him foraging with you? If you feed him about ten of them, that should keep him content for a long while. Alright, oh, so these are those little things that pop out of the ground that we saw a while ago, and uh, they were really, really easy to kill. So, click clack. Oh, there's lots of centaurs there. I wonder how good Joe is in a fight. Guess we're about to find out, aren't we? Wow, there's lots of them, and monks too. This could be tough. Oh man, he sucks. He's dead, does that mean quest over? Yeah. Alright, I'm back and I've killed uh, a lot of the centaurs that were on the road. Um, so, Joe should be able to survive now. Uh, but, <laughs> as you can see, I've got 45% death penalty. I died a few times and Charlie died. But, uh, that was mostly just because I was a bit stupid. I, I aggroed loads of them. Accidentally. So... But, it's not too bad. I mean, I think I, there's there's one group that might hurt me and might get me killed but otherwise I should be fine really as long as I can just dodge them I was going to kill them all but since my death penalty is getting quite high I figured I might as well just try with Joe now stupid devourer I think at least old Mac should have come with us right so these are the junipers here and I think we've just got to kill them. There's a group of uh, Shiver Peak longbows up there, so you see. Which I'm hoping not to attract. Wow, these guys really live a bean, don't they? Oh, they're going to kill him. They're actually going to kill him. Fuse hell. Yes. Ah, oh, see, no, I've attracted the centaurs. So they're going to kill us. I can barely see what's going on. Joe's dead. Oh well, we. F oh no, we didn't even feed him one. Oh no, these are the meats. 
Oh, I've just got to kill them and get the meats. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so I don't need to keep Joe alive anyway. Alright, um... I'll just get... Oh, shit. Oh, my God, look at them all. I'll just get the meats then. See you again in a sec. Ah, <laughs> now I can get them. Hopefully. I just quickly rezoned to get rid of all my death penalty and I just ran here so that uh, I wouldn't have to worry about um, Joe. Pretty good idea, don't you think? Tell you what, this really reminds me of that quest back in pre-searing where we got our first ever axe skills from Little Tom and we ran into the middle and hit them all with the whirling axe. Speaking of which, that probably would have been quite a good skill to use now that I think about it. Okay, that's the last of them. Let's uh, collect our spoils. See how much meat we got. got some seeds, some meat. Oh, we got a key. And more meat. A war hammer. It's purple rarity. Uh, a shiver peak mane. More succulent meat. More meat. A very crappy axe. Some more meat. And some more meat. That looks like that's all of it. How much have we got? We've got 11 meat. Okay. Oh, wow, no. Yeah, 11 meat. So let's go feed uh, old Joe, shall we? There we go. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Nice. Okay. Uh, quest complete. There you go, Mac. He's all fed and ready to go. That's a good lag, Joe. All full. Thank you for taking such good chair of Joe, Peter. You go tell Master Sablin that if he does that he doesn't have to worry about Joe any longer. Yeah, no problem. It was good to see you. Be safe now. I like it when old characters come back. Alright, Sablin. That's all done. So you sure that devourer is sated? Well then, good work. That should help our food situation a bit. I hate to say it, but it helps having that creature around. We haven't had an Etten attack in days. Nice. So two more skills. Divine Spirit, we won't need. That's a monk one. And Flurry, you attack 33% faster but do a little bit less damage. Now that might not sound so good, but I actually think that's a pretty great skill. Uh, so we're going to equip it, um, and we're going to use it over... Infuse for now, I think. We can always add that back when we know we need it. So, there we go. Alright, what next, Sablin? The Deserters. A small group of former soldiers have deserted us after the death of the prince. Normally I could forgive such a transgression in the face of all that we have endured, but they have taken the majority of our supplies with them and, ha and have headed north into the hills of the Deldramore Bowl. We believe they are making their way towards Icetooth Cave. With supplies already short, there is no way that our people will make it through the mountains to Kryta without those supplies. It is critical that we retrieve them and bring justice to these deserters who would condemn their people to death. It's a grim thing I ask of you, but it must be done. Can you find these deserters and bring back the supplies they have stolen? They will pay. Uh, yeah, it doesn't sound too good having to fight our own men, but if they've pretty much meant that everybody else is going to die, then I think we've got to do it, really, haven't we? Back out into the bowl. Oh, and it's right near the top of the bowl, actually. Do you know what? It might be a good idea to go from Ice Tooth Cave. So, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> 